My dream was not to be the best. For me, it was more like a matter of establishing a delicious everyday diet. Mit navn er Frederik Bille Bra. Jeg er kok, restauratør, og jeg gør, hvad jeg gør. Jeg er, fordi jeg elsker at lave mad, og jeg elsker at være omkring mennesker, arbejde med mennesker. Before food, there was music in your life. The energy, when everyone comes together, the room is bubbling, people are happy and smiling. I think it's the same type of euphoria I'm dreaming of and, and searching for in my restaurants, as I searched for in the past. Where are your inspirations from? You know, I think it comes from what I think is good in life. All my restaurants are unique, created to fit within a certain social structure in a society. Does that mean that Atelier September couldn't be anywhere else? It could be everywhere. It's not specifically hip or Scandinavian. It's more an idea of taking everyday pleasures and then making them delicious. I think there should be an Atelier September next to every Starbucks. You did open a new bakery in Berlin in the middle of a global pandemic. The bakery is a gift to a neighborhood. What is so cool about a bakery, it is an affordable luxury. This dish with tahini cream, tomatoes and strawberries and herbs is considered as like the natural reflection of a glass of champagne. We put the tahini with the water, so we're putting lemon, vinegar, soy sauce and then the oil and just spinning for some time. So this is paprika and then four our chilies and then the garlic. And the idea is to toast the spice so it turns rusty and then we add the oil and we just cook it at 70 degrees for like one hour. And then we go to the green peas, just like uh, meditating. So now they are peeled, quick boil, immersing them into the water. We need to make the dressing, tomato water, lime juice, soy sauce, chili oil. When you pair acidity with acidity, it actually creates like a really strong expression, especially when you have some fattiness to support it below. Vive Clico is like a pretty rich champagne, but still like very high minerality and acidity. It works well with this dish, you know, you have the fruitiness of the strawberries, the super tasty Italian tomato, you have the fattiness and the nutty flavors from the tahini, the fresh flavors from the herbs. It would be like like a rave in your mouth. It's very nice. <laughs> I think champagne has like a festive brain, you know. This is the dish to be enjoyed with a glass of Wrigley Gold. <laughs> the idea of being part of a collective, what does it mean to you? I'm very much immersed in the idea of a creative process of sharing ideas and knowledge and also try to lead people forward with my own experiences. I think what is very nice about this uh, collaboration is the curiosity of what is coming. What can I learn? I don't know. I have to uh, investigate it and uh, that is exciting. What is your hope for the future? We live in an outdated world and uh, tomorrow is coming. So we respect nature, we respect gender. Giving people a chance to eat the world better. Cheers guys. <laughs> <laughs>